Hi everybody, welcome to part two of my opening video for my order that I just placed for Christmas time. And you see I have it all laid out. Um, this order, if you watch the first half of the video, I kind of showed you all the baby stuff I got my daughter for Christmas. And the purpose why I ordered, and I usually don't do big orders like this, but um, during free shipping in the fall, I usually try to figure out what I'm going to give for Christmas mostly for this coming year and then try to get like the GOTY items because I got the three sage items I needed still and um, other things I might be thinking that might sell out. So I'm going to start and I'll start with the sage items and basically I don't want to deal with back orders and the girl of the year stuff usually when you start hitting into November starts getting back ordered a lot so that and if I have to return it I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to return it and get a replacement no problem now this box looks a little beat up for my taste so let's make sure everything is in there and the tissue paper is kind of Okay, this is my advice, and this is what my personal shopper told me, and I totally agree with when I had my appointment with her. And since I know some of you can't get to a store, like, or when you do get to the store, you don't have a personal shopper to kind of help you, this would be, if I would open it up and it would look like this, would be an automatic reject. I'm going to open up another <laughs> box, and maybe it's just because I'm picky. But, like, this looks like it's totally been opened up, played with, maybe even returned and sent back. And I usually, you know, if I have, like, a dozen there to go through, I'm not going to waste my time with this one. But, let's see. The pieces all appear to be in there. You have Sage's purse. It's very cute. I've been wanting this set for, like, since January 1st. I just hadn't got around to getting it. And then you have her earrings set. And all those pieces look to be in there. She has two pairs of danglies and then a pair of studs. And I always like check the wiki too because I'm so paranoid um, when I get pieces like this just to make sure I got everything because I'm pretty sure it just comes with three sets. I'm just gonna make sure that that's true because it's see the holes, but I think those are supposed to be there with nothing in them. But then it also comes with her necklace and a bracelet. So lots of little pieces, probably something that's going to be tedious to find on eBay and very expensive later. So I definitely wanted to get the accessories while they were still out and available. So Sage's accessories. The next thing of Sage's I got, and I have all of her outfits now. Thank goodness is now this one looks more acceptable the um tissue paper's not like one bold or anything this is her tunic outfit that i got the fabric's a little bit different it's more of like a linen and not a cotton and i've been expecting but it is embroidered It has little beading. And the Velcro's all the way down the back. Her shoes. Just pink magenta kind of flats that match the beading on the belt. And then... white and with like a yellow stitching kind of jeans so yes now I have the tunic outfit this is the outfit I figured would either really sell out fast or be available for a long time you never can tell so we put that there and in this box I thought was interesting because 
I don't know if they're this way in the store, but it has a little, like a little seal. And I may have to go get little scissors if I can't get it with my nail to open it up. So I'm going to go get a pair of scissors and I'll be right back. Okay, I opened the seal. I'm wondering if all the ones in store are like this too, just to keep all the pieces together. They keep people um, from like going in and taking what pieces they want. I don't know. Now this is kind of rumpled too. Just FYI, if you want sage things and you think you're gonna be picky about them like me, order them soon because they're kind of coming a little disheveled. So here's her basket. Like many people have said, it's a little bit warped. I think that you have to like, play around with it and you know, just when you get it, to get it to be in the right shape. But there's the basket. It comes with this kind of picnic blanket. Put the basket on there. It has tortilla chips, guacamole, oops, um, a bottle of water, the tamales, the little box, grapes, and a bowl to put it in. And that's everything. The little silica packet in there. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap these and put them in the basket, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and here's the picnic set with everything out of the box. I really think the basket, when people say it's warped, it's just the nature. the The materials it's made of aren't like a sturdy wicker. You can kind of just flex it back into shape. So it's not anything I would take the set back over because all the other pieces are in really good condition. Um, just be aware though that this sage stuff is coming a little bit, I think, rough around the edges in the boxes. But you can fit and I'll just put everything in the little basket so I can open the other stuff up. The tamales are so cute in their little box. And a little bottle of water. And then fold up their picnic blanket. Put the basket in. Okay, I'll do the Maiichi stuff next. And I got, I already have the brocade. And I have a review, an opening and a review of the brocade outfit on my um, channel if anyone wants to watch and look at this tissue paper it's like perfect this one has not been opened so that's just like the difference that like I think the girl of the year stuff you have to be more on your game about okay so this comes with a charm and it is fair and it comes with I almost look like the ruby slippers they're glittery. There's a gel packet in one of the shoes. It has this pretty, pretty dress. And I got the bitty dress if you watch the other video. Um, the younger girl version for my daughter to wear for Christmas. But this is just so sweet. And it's made just the same way, same materials. Pretty flower. Three little bows. Very pretty. And then it has cream kind of tights go with it. And then a headband, and I'll be cutting off that tag. Looks like that tag. It may just be basted on like one of my other outfits I got recently that you could take it off real easy. But like a sparkly headband. So there's the shoes, the tights. I just, I always love the Christmas dresses and I don't want them to sell out. So I just try to always make sure I get them fairly quickly every year. So there's the Christmas dress. And then I got the Christmas accessories set. 
too because not this past year when they had the crazy like nine dollar sale that went on forever for the holiday accessories but the year before that they sold out pretty quickly and that's it i was surprised about it but here's the set for this year and it has a like a shrug Pretty, pretty shrug. It kind of reminds me of the same material that Rebecca's winter coat, her black one, is made out of. So it comes with that. And then you also get quite a few pieces. This is obviously, you know, it's meant to be cut off, but you get a little Christmas tree. I think the bow, I don't know if the bow is supposed to be that way or not. I have to look online. But there's the tree cute. Here's the stocking. That is adorable. It says American Girl. It has a little charm on it. You get um, a card. Christmas card to fold yourself. You get a box and a present. A little bracelet to put in the box. So I think you get more pieces than you even got last year. And it's cheaper than last year's. And I think they really learned that from last year, because the huge sale they had to have on them, that they just, they priced that set too high for what you got with it. Because I think that set last year, you only got that black jacket, a nutcracker, um, a bracelet, and like two tickets, like basically pieces of paper. So people... Um, and the Nutcracker you could have easily gotten like at Michael's for like a dollar. So they really up their game this year with the holiday accessories. Now the last item, and I'm most excited about this, was I got a fall a dress I thought would be perfect for fall for Caroline. Let's see if I can get it open. It's a Josefina dress. Oh my goodness. This box is wanting to fight me. I don't want me to open it. Okay. Open it up. And it is her party dress, I believe. And look how nice that piece of paper is. Like, this has not been opened or paper, but I just love the historical stuff. Look how nicely they even put it in the box. I really. I don't know. Like, I like the GOTY stuff and I get it, but just like comparing this to like opening up that stuff, I love the historical stuff. So this is going to be for Caroline and um, it's the same kind of empire waist that she would have worn. And it's just because I don't have her travel dress and I probably will get that for Christmas, but I just wanted something fallish for her to wear. And I plan on getting Josefina eventually. So I got the dress. And then it comes with... Um, this is like another little Spencer jacket. So, yeah, that's what you get. Sadly, it does not come with shoes. And I think if you want the shoes, you have to buy um, Josefina's... Shoes and socks set, I believe. And then you can get the shoes. But just beware, like, some of the 